Hello, Chloe. Chloe, hello, good day. Oh. Yep. So, uh, this yep. Thursday is my last day. My course will end in on this third Thursday. Ah, you, it will, you will end already. This yeah, coming this, Thursday. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is Miss Darling won't take the Monday class after next week? Actually, I don't know. Right? Honestly, oh. the, uh, they didn't tell you. I no, I have no. Ah, uh, the schedule. The only thing I received was the schedule for this week. Okay. That's that's the only thing I received. Hmm. So okay. you your your class will end this coming Thursday. Yeah, uh, my my course will end on thirtieth. Ah, June the whole 30th. course. Yeah, the whole course. I see. Since I, I see. start on January thirty one, I think. <gasps> six months. Oh, You're uh, studying almost. for six months. Almost six almost. months. Oh, long. It says it's 24 weeks, but um, I'm not sure it's 24 weeks or not. It's, uh, <laughs> we got one week off, uh, one week like mm -mm. autumn off. I, I'm not sure what the vacation is. And mm -hmm. yeah, because I autumn count. break, autumn break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had autumn break. I see, I see. Okay. Yeah, because I actually don't know. I am not so aware who are the students who would end. Yeah, because last actually... time Steffi told me that she ends in on um, two weeks ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in my case, I knew about it because Steffi told me. Oh. Not not because the office told me. <laughs> I actually <laughs> have no idea. That's why sometimes I'm confused. Why are they not coming? Yeah, so so Where I I just is... told tell you like uh -uh. thank you so much <laughs> for informing me. Yeah, otherwise you will like miss Jimmy. Where are you? Where are you, Chloe? Yep. <laughs> and I would receive some message from the student that uh they would just inform me that the the class their course is already finished. Mm. Yeah, and <laughs> that's why I don't really know. Even for Bayou, I'm not sure if Bayou is finished or uh maybe it's he's still having he's vacation. Still, yeah, two weeks now. Mm. I'm not sure. Mm. Almost getting to two weeks already. Mm. It's getting to two weeks. So and I would just see new new phases in the class. So I mm. don't know if they're reg they will be regular students in the class. I would only know if they're regular, if they continuously attend. So yeah. So my record book, <laughs> my record book mm. are now I'm now using pencil instead of pen right away. <laughs> because I would <laughs> I would erase yeah, and I said to, wait, like, I'm confused. Mm. Yes. I think that's something I would be asking more on them to yes, also inform. Mm -hmm. May I ask, uh, how long did you like teaching students? How long? Generally, you yeah, you transferred to be a teacher because you are a nurse. I before, started right? since two thousand and six. Two thousand and six is a long time. Mm. Wow. But I, I am more on the face to face class. Uh, before you're in mm -mm. face to face? Okay. Face to face classes. We're more on uh group class. So, so normally it's like Filipinos? No. Koreans. Koreans. In yeah. Koreans, Japanese, Indonesian, Malaysian, Arab. So you work in a language school? 
like mm. a facility? International school. Mm. Oh, okay. Yep. But I only work for two schools, two major schools. And so the then... reason you turn to online class because you have to, uh, because the pandemic? The pandemic, the pandemic. And because that one is in the main city. And right now, my husband decided that we would live permanently for good here in his hometown. Mm -hmm. And he's... His stable job how far, is already... How far? Uh, the, the no traffic. <laughs> no traffic maybe. I can be in the main city just for two hours. But mm -hmm. with traffic, three like hours. Like driving highway? Three hours. That's on commute. By commuting. By bus. Oh, okay. So if you're riding the car, maybe just two hours away from mm -hmm. the main city. So it's it's not that far, but I think the working conditions in the city is now very different. If it's I would work, um, if I would work in the same company, the commute period is not good anymore because they change a lot of routes going to the area. <clears throat> There's a lot of going up and down from overpass. And the bus stations were far compared before. Mm -hmm. But I just have to go down in that uh, bus station and right away I can ride the jeepney so, going to work. So you never like learned to help how to drive or no. you had a lesson before? No, no never. <laughs> I don't like. I don't know. I'm scared, I think. Uh, how how about your like space sensation is good, space sensation and the direction sensation is good. Going to work. No no no. I mean generally. Generally. If you like going shopping, will uh will you uh, accessibility the accessibility. Yeah yeah yeah. It's not that good anymore. Cause I'm bad at that. Because when, when I went out the store, I can't remember which way, which ah, navigation. I... Navigation, the direction. <laughs> yes. I'm okay with direction. I'm okay, okay with direction. I am just not okay with crossing the street. Oh, yeah. You, you said that before. Crossing the street and traffic rules. <laughs> because I can't read traffic So you rules. can't ride a motorcycle either? I cannot. <laughs> I tried bicycle. Bicycle? <laughs> I tried bicycle before, but that was too I long. Was in high school. Okay. After that, I never, I have never ridden bicycles anymore. After high school, so I, I am really more of like a walk person. You know, I, I just walk. But, but you will, uh, be, uh, be better. Yeah, but somehow. Honestly, here in the Philippines now, it's really an advantage if you know how to drive. Because, like, having your own car would be easier than to, than to commute. Yeah, true. But I forgot to... Then I uh, And the thing there is, I'm really scared. Of course, if I need to drive, I should learn how to cross the street, right? There's U-turn, there's left turn, and whatever turn is needed. So what's your experience when you sit in the car? Were you scared? Or the, you just... <laughs> the first time, mm -hmm. the first time, uh, I rode the car for quite like a few minutes with my husband because he was also learning how to drive at the time. Mm -hmm. The experience was not good because the clutch broke while we were driving. Clutch means the tire? The, the, the control for the tire broke. Uh huh. <laughs> because he was still practicing at the time. So, it, I don't know. I, I'm not the kind of person who feels nervous very easily. Uh -huh. but, but the cars will. Because it's driving. crossing the street. The idea that we were about to cross the street 
that gave me the nervousness because I don't even know if it's time to cross that or not. So you just rely on the, the traffic lights? Yes. The problem in the Philippines, most of the time, the traffic lights are not working well. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Everybody is trying to feel each other. Am I going first or you go first? Something like this. <laughs> and and I could feel my husband that time that he was very nervous. My husband gets nervous very easily. So I wasn't nervous, but I don't know what kind of instructions would I give him because I have no idea about driving. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I could tell him is just to come down. But to tell him what to do, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. And good thing I good thing he he was able to somehow get some tips from his cousin who knows how to drive. And probably he remembered. He said engine brake. He was saying engine brake, engine brake. But I can see his face red. He was nervous. He was and sweating. <laughs> yes, I know. So I wasn't nervous. The thing is, I cannot help him because I don't know anything. Mm. That's the Fair thing. Fair enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I told him, just remember what he told you. Just anything you can remember. Anything. Anything. And imagine if it's a machine, it's an engine, the engine will not just stop directly. There will still be energy left. So maybe your engine brake can work. Just let it run on its own. I think it will work like, you know, the toy car. I was talking like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're in the science field, you tend to use your yeah. science thing, mm -hmm. right? In emergency. Mm -hmm. and Somehow it works. It's true, right? Yeah. Energy will not just stop right away zero. Yeah, because right? the physics uh, law. Physics. Yes, that's yeah. it. I told him, your physics, remember the physics. He said, I'm not good in physics. <laughs> ah, physics, energy will not stop right away. There will still be bits of energy. Think about it. I don't know what you call that. It works. <laughs> and then your hazard. Think your hazard. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't even know what hazard thing is in the car. What it means. <laughs> I don't even Arden know. means the, the blank, uh, Char like a... The green color? You, no, the, the red color of the triangle means that you, you want to uh. pull over or you had a broken car or something. Yeah. The, the behind cars will notice that uh -huh. they, they should avoid, avoid from you, <laughs> get away from you. Yes, yeah. that's the thing. So yeah. I remembered he mentioned about that and I told him, he told me there's hazard. So I was thinking, what is hazard in the car? Something dangerous. Oh, you just find where is hazard. Where is hazard here? And he said, this one is hazard. Should I click? He said, click. Are you sure? Hazard, click. Everybody must know we're in danger. Click, click, click. <laughs> <laughs> He's nervous. I think that's where we, we complement each other. Uh -huh. When he's nervous, I am not. But he has the details. I don't have the details. <laughs> like compensate together. Yes. <laughs> so fortunately, we were very, very, very lucky. We stopped at a car repair shop. Mm. Exactly. It, the car totally stopped there. Mm -hmm. So How lucky we said, is oh, it? we're so lucky we stopped. And then the man saw us, the, the worker in the shop. And then he, he, he ran towards us and maybe he figured out something was wrong. So he put some rock at the back of the wheels. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and everything was fine. <laughs> I felt like I was the one driving also. <laughs> but I said, oh, no, I think I'm not sure if I can manage the pressure of driving. I'm not sure. So my, my husband said, if you wanted to learn how to drive, you just tell me if you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday if you have, have kids, I you hope. will. Yeah, I hope. And in case of emergency, but I have to overcome first my fear of crossing big roads. That's my fear. I can cross small roads, but big roads. I, I'm really, my knees are shaking. Mm. 
Mm. My knees are really shaky. I don't know why. But oh, I don't street. have trauma. Crawl through phobia? Not, I don't have any phobia trauma at all. Or maybe I got used that my father and my mom would always hold my hand when we crossed the street. Even when I was married. You know? Uh-huh. Even when I was married, whenever so we you crossed the road, too protective. <laughs> maybe, maybe bad side, <laughs> bad side. So sometimes, if you really have children, you have to let them go and yeah. explore. <laughs> so I think that's the case. They always hold since, yeah. Even when I got married, when I visit them, when we need to go to the market, they know right away. They have to hold my hand when we cross the street. Because I will not cross if no one is just pulling. Stood there. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's the thing. So thank you. And anyway, yeah, we had quite a long talk. Uh, Wembley and Faru. Okay, nice to meet you. And I hope you have a good night tonight. It's evening already, right? In Australia. Okay. Have you had dinner? Have you had dinner? Yeah. How about Faru and Wembley? Have you had your dinner? Yes. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Oh, sorry, because Chloe and I, we were talking about driving. Oh, <laughs> and she was asking me if I can drive. I don't drive. I don't really, I don't drive. Not even bicycle. <laughs> Not How even about motorbike? Mon- no. 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 No bicycle, no motor, motorcycle. Not even the car. <laughs> so, I only use my feet when I go out most of the time uh, and commute. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. Yeah. A little bit scared. Can you drive, Faru? Uh, yes, I drive. I drive. Wembley also, you drive, right? Do you drive? Yes. Exactly. Okay, you drive. yes. Ah, you know, I envy women who can drive. <laughs> ah, drive. You try. I drive a motorbike, car, truck, big truck. Oh, even truck? Tractor. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you know, this is one thing funny about me. When someone would ask me if there's one thing I would like to drive, I always tell them I want to drive a truck or a bus. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, it's comfortable. Good. But, you know, I can't even drive a small car. How can I drive a truck? But, you know, I've seen here, there's, I've seen one woman here in my place. She can really drive a truck that delivers soft drinks. Wow. And, oh, amazing. I was amazed when I saw her. How can she do that? She she turned she she did like a U-turn at one uh-huh. area and she was driving a soft drinks truck. And I said, wow, how can yes. she do that? A very good smooth turn. Uh, amazing. After that, I said, one day I will drive a truck. <laughs> but I think it will take very long years <laughs> before I do that. I'm not sure. Ah, I don't know. I hope I can drive first bicycle properly. If yes. I can. Okay, Just anyway. Drive, so yeah. for today, we are going to have... Uh-huh. Again? I think in Australia, drive it, right? In Brazil, drive it like... Ah, I'm, I'm not even good at crossing the road, you know? <laughs> I, I'm scared of crossing big roads. So what more if I will drive? Okay. Anyway, uh, class for today, we are going to have, uh, we'll continue the persuasive topic for today. But this time, let me give you, okay. Wait a minute. Let me open the file. June 27. Okay, before we we have the writing essay writing topic for today, let's go first. Can you go to week three in your Moodle? 
and then go to reading and you will find influencers. Kindly open that file. Week three, reading and then influencers. Let's see. Tell me if you were able to open it. Red 7, teacher? Yes, Red 7. Yeah, I already opened. Okay. Red 7, week 3, reading influencers. Okay. Faru and Wembley, were you able to open? Yes, I. Okay. Inside the model, I yes. set the uh, projected visuality for ready and recall. Okay. Make sure you are in the reading section. Week three reading, influencers. The title is influencers. Okay. Take your time. Make sure you open the right. Topic for today. Week three, okay? Week three. So you have to click week three. You're in red seven, okay? So you have to go first to red seven. Oh, I stay in red seven. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, you're in page, red seven. The page, welcome to red seven. Yeah, red I seven. Have, I reading recall. No, not reading reader. recount. Go down. Go down. You will see uh, week one, week two, week three. You are now in week three. You must see the word week. Week three. Reading recount is just on top. You have to go down. Until you see week number three. Moment. Okay, sure, it take your time. Project the study. Ah, okay. Um, let me show you how to see that. Okay, wait a minute. Let me open. Oh, my file is taking a long time. Were you able to see Wembley? Uh, no often. Okay. Can you share to me your screen, Wembley? Can you share your screen? So I can, so I will know. Moment. Okay, sure, sure. Share to me your screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Wait a minute. It's opening. Oh, okay. Go down. Go down. Go down some more. I. Yeah. No, no. Up, up, up. Go up. Go up. 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 Go up. Some more. You see? Week one, week two, week three. You click week three. Uh, week three? Yeah. Click. I click. Join. Yes. Click. Click that one. Okay. And that's all your lesson. Okay, you're there. Reading. Influencers. Can you see? Uh, Read yeah. that one. Yes. All our lessons are there. Yeah, that's it. Okay? So you can okay. close your share screen now. Yep, Thank that's it. You. Okay. So every week you must open. Okay? So every week it changes. So that week three, everything that you can see there, that's our lesson for the whole week. Okay, so this time let's now, let me see my, huh? Wait, my file is the one not opening again. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's have the reading first for influencers. You're familiar with influencers, right? 
Can we answer question number one there? Which social media sites do you use? Which one is your favorite? Chloe, how about you? Which social media do you use? Mm, mostly Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. That's also your favorite mm. social yeah. media site, Instagram. Uh, what, what made you like it? Why not other social media sites? Why Instagram? Because one time my friend told me that Facebook will leash your uh, personal information out to the hackers mm. or something. Mm -hmm. They will invade you to the phones and uh, mm. maybe stole your money or something like that. So I just stopped using it since then. Ah, uh, okay. Since then, so, okay. Yeah, so after that, the I, yeah, I just using uh, Instagram, just show, um, reviewing uh, friends' uh, posts and mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. English like uh, talk shows. Mm, yeah, they American have. talk shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They do. Okay. How about Faru? Thank you, Chloe. How about you, Faru? Uh, Which yeah. social media do you use and what's your favorite? Um, um, yes, I'm like Chloe. I like Instagram. Instagram yeah. also. Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. What? Why do you like Instagram? Uh, because, um, well, I like Instagram, and I yeah, every day I watch videos on Instagram, like um funny video, like A funny videos, funny video, sometimes. <laughs> yes, I see. So it's also Instagram for you. How about you, Wembley? <laughs> what social media site do you use, and what's your favorite? Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. Instagram. Yes. Ooh. Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Uh, in ten years, uh, mm -hmm. revolution. And uh, ten years last mm -hmm. is social media and uh, selection in the world uh, mm -hmm. is Facebook. Facebook. Today, uh, today, uh, Instagram. Uh, last. A new process uh, development is complete mm -hmm. information in videos, mm -hmm. posts, I see, I see. Health, is it... uh, very, very nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Easy, easy to use, right? Easy to use. But in my case, I use Facebook more. Although I use Facebook more, I do not update. <laughs> I do not update my facebook often yeah, i use right. facebook but i do not update my information i don't yeah. also i don't also post a lot in facebook and uh, i use facebook if i really wanted to communicate with my close friends who live far and i also use facebook if I wanted to watch some funny videos, just funny videos. However, these days something, I think Facebook is becoming too open. You know what I mean? There's no boundaries anymore in most videos and posts in Facebook. So I think that's why, that's what Chloe was talking about. It's easier to hack Facebook. I think, compared to Instagram. I think Instagram has more stricter rules than Facebook. So I also have Instagram account, but I don't really use it. And maybe Facebook here is more popular than Instagram. Because most of my friends are in Facebook. So I use Facebook. But uh, I like Facebook for watching some inspiring or funny videos that's it and checking out on my friends who live far and who live abroad <laughs> i think that's the easiest they can do to communicate here in the philippines so i think they also have they're using instagram there in their country but connecting to philippines facebook would be easier 
So that's why I'm using Facebook at this time. So let's see now. Okay, let me. Okay. Now, ah, let me ask you. Number four. I can't hear you properly, teacher. Can you answer number four? What is an influencer and can you give an example? Do, do you know any social media influencer? Mm -hmm. You influence Who Who's an influencer that you know, that you follow, that you really watch? Wembley, how about you? Is there anyone you, you follow? Is there any influencer that you really watch? Uh, today, uh, I have a very, very... Uh, I like the uh, friend, my tenants, I play in, in Brazil. Uh, my tenants, I play in Lauda. Lauda, I play in uh, company mm -hmm. uh, like a friend in Brazil the track mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. tracks like a bus it's good nice. mm -hmm. I play some lot lot French uh, influences influences uh, in determination mm -hmm. uh, part I see I see that's what you follow how about thank you Wembley how about Faru how about you, Faru? Is there any influencer that you follow? You like watching? Uh, sorry, teacher? Is there any social media influencer that you follow? Or you like to watch? Give me a few, few seconds. Hello? Yeah, I just have to check the connection. It's very windy. Can you hear me now? Uh, yes, teacher. Faru? Okay. Yes, yes. But you're frozen? Thank you. It, it became very windy. Okay. Is there any social media, social media influencer that you follow? Uh, like celebrities? Hello? Ah, like celebrities, yeah? yeah. You follow? Yeah. Uh, I follow, as you know, Selena Gomez. Ah, I follow her too. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Uh -huh. I like her because uh, she's a pretty. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, like, Selena Gomez. Yeah. And um, I like her product, makeup product. Teacher? I mean, makeup products. Yes. Okay. Make oh. I, love, uh, I also, yeah. you know, Selena Gomez, favorite celebrity. I really love the way she speaks and the way she acts. That's why yeah. I really like Selena Gomez. I also follow Selena Gomez. Mm. For for I couldn't my my internet I think is laggy. Okay, again, Chloe. Hmm? How about you? Is there any social media that you are following? I, I love media? the Jimmy Influencer. Fallon. Ah, Jimmy Fallon, the talk yeah. show. Yeah, and I also, also watch. Uh, uh, Singapore, uh, Singapore. He, um, I'm not sure what he he said. He's Uncle Roger. 
Are you familiar with Uncle Roger? Ah, Anna, Uncle Roger. Open. Hold on. Yeah. Uncle Roger. I think I've heard about his name. Yeah, he will oh, say, so uh, my niece and nephew and use uh, a funny accent. Mm -mm. Ah, I think I know the Uncle Roger. Okay, yeah. okay. I've, I, I like, think I've seen. I love the funny talk shows or like comedy or something like that. Mm -hmm. Me too. I actually, uh, uh, fa same Jimmy Fallon at the same time. But I also watch Hmm. Master Chef, Gor Gor Gordon Ramsay. Gordon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gordon Ramsay. So I usually watch their uh, Master Chef, but these days I haven't seen some of it. And once that the Uncle Roger has a challenge with a uh, Gordon with fried rice, I think. Gordon Ramsay, right? Hmm. I really knew that Uncle Roger. Ah, oh, fried rice. Mm -hmm. I see. And there's one more that I usually watch. I forgot the name, but this guy would ask random people about a certain food that they like to eat. And then he will cook it and give it to that person. So that's what I've been watching recently. And... Celebrities, except for Selena Gomez. <laughs> Selena Gomez is the only celebrity I follow. Other than that, no more. <laughs> so, so, these are influencers. These are people. How were influencers different from the uh, people? The, the YouTubers, do you know any difference just from influence or are they, the, they the, what's your opinion? What's, what is your opinion? Are YouTubers and influencers the same or are they different? Um, some of them start with the uh, in. Uh, become a YouTuber mm -hmm. and when they had a uh, famous they had uh, a reputation so they will mm. become an influ influencer I think yes actually that's the thing in the Philippines there is say a different different in between YouTubers and influencers. Everyone can be a YouTuber, but not everyone can be an influencer. So here, in many cases, there were some YouTubers that they thought they were influencers who were banned. They were banned because of, you know, overusing their popularity. And at some point, they are not good influences anymore at social media. So the social media sites banned them. So it's there is really a big difference between being a YouTuber and an influencer. So this time, let's read um, about a YouTuber. Okay. Uh, let's look at the vocabulary first. Can you see that? Yeah. Social media pl uh, platform, vlog. Can you see the vocabulary? Can you see those words? Vocabulary preview number one. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you can see social media platform. Vlogs, podcasts. Do you listen to podcasts? Yes. Do you? I... Me too. 
Mm -hmm. I hear you. Well, what kind of podcast do you listen to? Uh, recently is like um, ABC Health. Oh, okay, <laughs> class, give me give me few minutes. Let me check first my internet. I think my internet is unstable. Give me few seconds, please. Yeah, right, teacher. How about now? Can you? Is it okay? Can you hear me now? Yep. Yes. Okay. Okay. I ch I just check the connection because it's becoming very windy. Okay. Let's see some of the vocabulary words there that you can see okay social media platform vlogs po podcast they said all youtubers must learn how to be a content creator i'm not sure because i'm not so familiar with content creators what other deeper things do they do but what kind of content creators are you interested in how about you, Wembley? What kind of content creators are you interested in? Uh, in, in podcast, podcast mm -hmm. is, is uh, Wembley. Method. Can you hear me? Mm. Yeah, what kind of... Okay, hold on. Let me type. Let me type. What, what kind of content creator? Uh, you understand? Mm. So? I didn't hear it. Can you see? Can you see my question? Uh, when we, I send the what? question in the chat box. Okay. What kind of content creator are you interested in? Content creators can be about sports, about food, about travel. One. Mm -hmm. yes. My connection is really. Class, is it okay? I turn off first my camera. Let me see if it will work better. Yeah. 
Okay. I think it will work better. How about you, Chloe? What kind of content creator? Oh, Lito. Yes. A voice is in music. Music. He creates yes. music. Uh, in English, Iceland and music. Mm. A voice uh, is in music. It's a music channel. Beautiful. Are you into music, Wembley? Do you like music? Yes, like. <laughs> ah. like. Okay, you like music Love. a lot. You like music a lot. Uh, <clears throat> oh. Uh. How about you, Chloe? What kind of content creators are you interested mm. in? About food, about travel, music, sports, fashion? Food is, food is my favorite. Because I, I had to like, <laughs> learn to how to cook perfectly. Cook. And the most um marvelable uh the race uh i watched recently is a five five years old kid in america who designed clothes he started with uh, a sewing machine he asked her uh, his mom to buy buy him a short <laughs> sewing machine and he started to be in a fashion designer since then very young five yeah yeah five <laughs> so wow. he, he, he he's seven now so he got like many of fans and uh, consumers to buy his clothes his design mm -hmm. uh, his mm -hmm. designs Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so he's wow. famous in America, I think. Oh, very so young. Cute. <laughs> very young. It's yeah. her. It's probably her hobby already, right? At a young age, to design clothes. Oh, yeah, he, I'll figure that out. He, he uh, said. How about Faru? Thank you, Chloe. How about yeah. you, Faru? Uh-huh. Yes, Chloe. No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Yes, Chloe, Just Chloe. Continue. Continue with Faro. Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> Faro, how about you? What kind of content creators do you like to watch? About food? Oh. About travel? Sports? Anything? Um, I like food. And food also. <laughs> job and beauty. <laughs> and beauty and makeup. Cosmetics, yeah, makeup. right? I see, I see. In my case, I like to watch. Here, I don't know why is it so famous now mukbang ah yes mukbang. you know the, the, the mukbang a it lot of a lot. <laughs> I think in so Philippines much. the muk, the muk, mukbang creators are becoming more popular somehow it's interesting to watch at first but later not anymore because I'm wondering how can they eat a lot of this food so I, I prefer more on travel side, on the travel side, because I haven't traveled to another country. So watching travel shows and travel vlogs, somehow, you know, it's like a wish fulfillment for me when I watch. It. So <clears throat> that's really interesting for me when, whenever I watch. And let me go. Wembley, Lito? Lito. Yes. Lito is a pilot. Like... Lito is a pilot. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, ah, because uh, you're into airplanes. Mm -mm. Yes, I recommend. It's very good uh, channel. <coughs> uh, 
uh, little very smart little why do you uh, like why do you like aircraft yeah <laughs> no no why do you no, no, I, uh, I like it uh, i play I just it. like uh, uh... example uh in, in, in the world a uh, lot mm -hmm. lot accident i grab uh, mm -hmm. uh, accidents and possibly study and uh, uh, mm. new new process uh, mm -mm. New and security uh, exactly, exactly i yes. see i see so i think security. you also like watching uh air aircraft movies right airplane movies exactly. Love it. Uh, <laughs> have have uh one one movie uh, mm -mm. uh I play in the Hill Hudson, yeah. Uh Rise Hudson uh, in not, uh, mm -hmm. New York, I remember. Olympus has uh, in fallen. Uh, in America. Mm -mm. It's good movie. Good mm -mm. movie. Mm -mm. Uh today example. Mm -hmm. uh, I play have the door, the pilot, one mm -hmm. door, mm -hmm. divisor, passengers. Mm -hmm. uh, the door, uh, fix the door. Uh, before, uh, you Hello? remember 11 September 2001? Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. After uh, incident, uh, fatality mm -hmm. to the people. Uh, I played, uh, fixed the door, separate pilot passenger. 2001. Exactly. It's very, 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 very good. And mm -hmm. studying security, insurance, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, I played. I see, I see. That's why you like it. Yes, Chloe, yes. you were saying a while ago. Chloe, you were mentioning, okay. Uh, anyway, before before we read the article and start your essay writing today, have your five minutes break first, and then we'll continue the next activity, okay? Oh, the baby's there.
Hello? Okay, let's read the article. <clears throat> okay, let's read the article today. Influencers helping companies access online audiences. You can go to page three. We will skip the vocabulary meaning. We will have the vocabulary as we read the article. Okay. Can you see page three now? The reading. Okay. We'll read today. Let's start with Chloe. Chloe, can you read paragraph one? Okay. Okay. An influencer is a person who generates interest in something by posting about it on social media. Influencers are found across networking sites such as Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, mm -hmm. and Twitter. They are often experts in a certain industry and have a large audience. Influencers encourage people to buy products and they often promote companies, causes, and ideas through their social media channels. Okay, so what's the main idea in this, art in this paragraph, Chloe? Uh, who will become? Uh, no, one second. Mm -hmm. The function of an influence. <laughs> mm, correct. It's correct. It's yeah. actually correct. The main point is simply it's talking about. The function or description of an influencer, right? Especially the functions of an influencer. Thank you, Chloe. That's it. That's yeah. just how you try to get main idea and main, main point. Thank you. Let's read number two. Uh, Paru, can you do paragraph number two? <laughs> Paru, can you read paragraph number two? Yeah. Influencer are categories according to the number of followers they have on a single social media platform. A mega influencer is someone who has more than 1 million followers. Micro influencers have somewhere between 10,000 uh, 10, and 1 million followers, and micro influ influencers have between 1,000 mm -hmm. and 10,000 followers. Let's see. So, what's the main point of paragraph two? Um, um, let's see. Of followers. In oh, yeah, the followers. followers. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, paragraph number two is talking about uh, what makes up an influencer. And uh, the influencers become influencers through the number of followers that they have. That's it, Faru. Good. That's just the main point. It's talking about the number of followers that makes up an influencer. Okay. Thanks. So you have you have their mega influencer. Of course, these are the ones who get more than one million followers. Micro uh, macro ones are from ten thousand to one million followers. The micro are the ones ten thousand below. Those ones. Thank you, Faru. Let's have number before we talk about it. Let's read first. 
Wembley, can you read paragraph number three? Oh. Oh, companies of work to reach influences to sell their products. This is called influence and making fashion build, food, travel, fitness, and technology where is some of the most common in those to make use of influences. Mm -hmm. Popular influences uh, such as Buddha Katan, Beauty, mm -hmm. Gigi Hadid Fashion, and mm -hmm. Salt by Food. Oh, Salt by uh, Food. <laughs> salt by Food. Uh, have of 50 million followers in social media. Working with influencers can give a brand her reach and help it stand out in the crowded digital marketplace. Okay. It's it's huge. Wembley, you read it as huge. Huge reach. Huge reach. Huge means Correct. very big. <laughs> yeah. Huge means very big. So what's the main point in that paragraph? Exactly. Uh, uh, one point, uh, important point, uh, yeah, this information is a uh, lot of different segments. Food, mm. travel, uh, technologies, uh, today, uh, present in podcast, uh, social media, mm -hmm. YouTube, uh, market, mm -hmm. marketing, uh, domain, the world. Market, yes. Today, uh, mm -hmm. Market yes. today is profile, it's number one in the world. Uh, market and technology. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Work together. So, work together. Yes, they work. To, they have to really work together. Technology and the marketing itself. And the influencers are the ones who usually give good market to these products. So, thank you, Wembley. Let's go back to Chloe, number four. Okay. Uh... Companies okay. may Paragraph choose, number four. Companies may choose a specific type of influencer depending on their goals or their target audience. Large companies often employ well-known celebrities as the face of brand awareness campaigns. Celebrities are often mega influence who enjoy tremendous popularity which gives the brand a lot of exposure in different markets. Mm. Um, What's the main point there? It's talking about those companies will choose a, a specific type of influence to marketing their products because they're yes, easily yes. to Thank you, sell it. Mm -hmm. Because they are having yes. huge Yes, that's fans. why they choose celebrities, right? Mm. Yes, that's it. That's actually the main purpose there. They have huge fans that can just, even if they don't need the product, but if it's their favorite celebrity is campaigning for the product, yes, even if they like, don't need it, they will still like buy it. Like being supported by their... Yes. Uh, model really supportive, or, yes. Yeah, or yeah. Really, really, especially if I'm not sure if BTS became popular in Australia. Do you know uh, the Korean group BTS? Yes, I I heard of. Mm -hmm. uh, once Here? they they mm -hmm. produced the B BTS McDonald's set. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the chicken nuggets thing. And I saw someone. So the 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 packaging of yes. the nuggets <laughs> and it's five hundred <laughs> Taiwan dollars, you know. <laughs> yes. it's, it's madness. It's it's really it's madness, I think. It was really madness. And I don't know when I went to McDonald's at the time, I knew about BTS. Of course, I've been teaching Koreans for a long years. So, you know, my my interest to K-pop group is not that much. 
because I see Koreans almost every day. And when I figured, when I okay, found that out that... that for you? <laughs> <laughs> actually, most Koreans are really good dancers because it's really part of their school to have a dance uh, activity. Class. Yeah. Yes. And they have schools for actors and actresses. They have schools for dance. So it depends if... And most Koreans who want to be in the K-pop group would choose the art side of school. So most of them, a lot of them would like to be celebrities and, and dancers, performers, part, part of the K-pop group. So when you see them every day, you know what I mean? If you're the teacher and you see Korean students every day, it feels like the K-pop industry is just like an ordinary thing for you to see. So because it's not every that morning, special. <laughs> yes. Mm. But and they, but the students would often sing, you know, sing and dance early in the morning if it's not yet time for lesson. And during break time, they will dance. They will play the K-pop music. Oh. I hear that for almost 16 years or 15 years. So, but some of them are really good ones. Really, really good ones. So I was shocked with that chicken nuggets thing of BTS. When I ordered, when we went to McDonald's and they they asked me, Ma'am, the BTS, oh, what's, what do you mean BTS? I wasn't aware. <laughs> But it was a very good marketing for McDonald's. I think it was, uh, how can I say? It's probably the best seller during that time, their chicken nuggets, because of the PTS. <laughs> good even marketing. The packaging. <laughs> you know, even, even the soju, soju is like their rice wine. Even mm. colas, here even soft drinks, other soft drinks with BTS phases. Even the cover of the ramen. Ramen? BTS, yes, the ramen noodles. The cover uh -huh. is BTS. Mm -hmm. oh. Anyway, I cannot avoid it. But yeah, that's, that's, they were at the peak of their popularity at that time. Celebrities are really good endorsers. <laughs> okay, thank you, Kaori. Let's yeah. have Faru for number five. She, I think she lost connection. Oh, she's she's not there. Okay. Yeah. Wembley number five. Can you do paragraph five? Like influences, however, uh, tend to be cotton so high. Would you more decide on the diversity of the following? limit their ability to engage on a personal level. Companies may choose to hide micro influencing instead and they can have the target of a particular audience. Micro influence are often used especially with power work shared the passion. They are also professional mm -hmm. content creators producing the all high quality blogs, blogs and the podcasts. Okay. So what is now the main point for this? Uh, today, okay. uh, unbelievable. Uh, this one situation, uh, paragraph 55. Uh, one friend uh, in Brazil, uh, different vision, uh, work and support uh, influences, uh, podcasts, uh, mm. blog, uh, uh, chat GPT, mm -mm. different segments. Mm -mm. My friend is very good team. Mm -hmm. uh, today, uh, help lot, lot of people, uh, people, people mm -hmm. in, in different social media. Social ah, media. Is. Mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, a uh, little bit blogs, Instagram. Ah, podcast. One, one little speak. Ah, product uh, example, product uh, team. Uh, this is very good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Good thing. Good thing. Uh, Creator. 
exactly. É, no long time, quick time, good, good example. É, today, you, you stop é, five minutes, you start one video in YouTube. Uh -huh. é, two minutes, two minutes and a half, é, one anúncio. É, uh -huh. Be rock, each every day. Memories. <laughs> Yep. Remitly, remitly in a uh, is easy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so little, little information. Mm -hmm. Memories, no quick. Mm -hmm. Little, client fixed, fixed, fixed. Today, mm -hmm. I memories lot, lot information. Uh, mission, mm -hmm. ah, mission, mission, uh, <laughs> mission, Baroque. Have mentioned remittly, have mentioned example Toyota, Hyundai, mm -hmm. different missions, mm -hmm. quick, quick, quick. Yes, you because it's memory. known, it's popular. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Popular. Popular. It's, so it's really yeah. in the popularity. Mm -hmm. exactly. That's the thing. <laughs> But anyway, because this part is more on the like the mega influencers. So these are really the very popular people who would endorse products, right? Who would, uh, these are influencers who can really give big sales to a certain product. However, too expensive. Of, very expensive, yes. Their talent fees are very expensive. So instead of getting the mega influencers, some companies would rather get the macro ones because most of them are really talented creators most of them are professional professional bloggers and I'm some of it. them really work yeah some of them work in the marketing field so they have all the knowledge to create a better marketing rather than just rather than spend a lot of money and pay one person to endorse your product So that's a cheaper, not cheaper, but probably that's a better alternative for them to, to get more customers rather than get a very popular celebrity and endorse it. But if the company is big, why not? Right? Like Ma but, McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. Exactly. Uh, I really wonder about McDonald's. It's different right? influences. Uh example lot mm -hmm. lot uh, what is it? productive uh, example Philip ah mm. Philip Philip mm. factor technologies mm -hmm. heavy TV uh, a lot Philip, uh, love lot a lot uh, mm -hmm. yeah exactly I example had one influence very good influence in Instagram uh Five million followers. <laughs> Philip, mm. free, free. Stand mm. one mm. TV. Mm -hmm. 75. Big one. Uh, free. Free. Oh, Influence, no pay. Later, oh. influence. Open the camera. Oh, thank you, Philip. Uh, Sponsor. Yes. Sponsor. Exactly. Awesome. That's it. It's really to sponsor them. Really That's marketing. advantage. <laughs> yeah. People, uh, <laughs> and the people testing your information, uh, mm -hmm. influence, influence act have one TV film. Ah, TV film very good. Yes. Next TV on film. Mm -mm. Because But, that's their advantage. But yes, yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, possible cases, mm. producer, <laughs> bad. <laughs> bad. Mm -hmm. uh, it varies. Uh, it varies. Yeah. Okay. Today, today, it varies, uh, why not? <laughs> yeah. Today, in internet, <laughs> check information. Ah, uh, I build new, new TV. I build new laptop. Today you check mm. internet, check it, information, check, 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 okay, yes, select one, 
Uhum. A, a influência, a I View in Brazil, uma influência. Oh, laptop is very, very good. Quick. Uhum. Process laptop. First Because some, process. sometimes they are the standards already, right? Exactly. Those people are already the standards. Some some buyers do not do not look for do not check any more other details, but if they if they know and if they if the marketer or the influencer is very popular, they already buy the product, right? They just buy it right away because of the person. So it happens exactly. many times. Exactly. Good It's question. Okay, uh, let's have the last one. Am I right? The last. Ah, can you read number six to seven, Chloe? Okay. Include number seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some companies may look to micro influencers to expand their customers' base. Although micro influencers tend to have a really relative, relative, relatively, relatively, relatively small reach. Their audience is very specific. Micro influence are often regular people who have an interest or expertise in a particular industry or niche. Niche. They niche. Mm. The they build close relationship with their audience, meaning they are highly trusted. They are also readily available to companies, available. unlike unlike ma macro and mega influencers who often have an agent to help manage their clients. Yeah. If you own a company and money were no object, which type of influencers would you use? Yes. Yeah. What's the main point there? Mm, one second. Uh, some company will like look for uh, micro influencers and is the audience uh, are highly trusted with those influences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how, how come some companies would choose micro-influencers instead of mega and the macro? One second. <laughs> This is, uh, their product is like very specific. Yes. The, they're targeting the Basic audience to sell the products. Yes. So that's the in a paragraph number six, including number seven. Uh, I'll give you an example for this. In Philippines, cars now uh, are becoming more popular, and the market of cars are get are really increasing here, and. Most of the time, when when my husband and I would would watch some vlogs about cars, we would see like micro influencers. These are people who are not so popular, but they but they are very trained and well informed, and probably like professional engineer. They are really engineers who knew about these cars, so they may not be like celebrities. But they have the expertise about the field that they are vlogging in. So my husband and I used uh usually watch I forgot the name, but we would watch this guy and his his vlog is about um comparing comparing at least two. Yeah, at least two kinds of cars, and he would give the the 
advantage of this from this and the details of both cars. So if ever you are buying, you're about to buy a car, it's really good to watch his vlog because you'll, you'll be able to understand how different is this car from this. Because if we don't know anything about car, we will just simply look at how beautiful it is, right? Outside. Ah, oh, this is red. I like yellow. I like blue, <laughs> right? I like this. This is a glossy type of paint. This, it, it's this like a type of paint. influencer with specialty, <laughs> right? Yes, with expertise. So they are like a more of a private and a more specialized experts of something. So if, if you're not, if you really wanted to be more specific with what you like, you better find micro influencers who really have expertise on something that interests you. If you're interested in buying a car, then find a micro influencer in cars because they can talk a lot of good things that you need for the car that you like. Rather than find a mega influencer who's modeling what what kind of car who's modeling a very expensive car but you won't really buy that expensive car right and the expensive car is not really appropriate for your country so in the, honestly you know in philippines there are many luxury cars already but <laughs> i think those people do not understand the roads in the Philippines. Our roads are not meant for luxury cars. There's always heavy traffic jam. If you have a if you have a luxury car, it's better to bring that in the countryside. Because most luxury cars are really fast in speed, right? You can do that in Philippine cities. And there are many reckless drivers in the city and you don't want your luxury car to get scratched so i i've seen a, i've seen some because i used to work the academies where i used to work are in really business district for long years and i've seen a lot of luxury cars there and i think the owners of the luxury cars just live in the condominiums around the business district so it is a very private you know private community so they can just go around that place with their luxury car but they cannot run fast in that area so you cannot totally enjoy the speed of your luxury car in the city in the philippines bring that in the countryside then okay you do it but yeah, I really believe if you want something luxurious like a car, you have to make sure it fits your country. It's suitable to your country. If not, it's just all for your for your how can I say for your wants. Not really for your everyday need, right? Maybe just to be to look fashionable. It's fine. But everyday use cannot. It doesn't fit. So if you would summarize only, this, uh, our, uh, uh yes, Chloe, it, it is only only need the vanity. Yes, it's just like wearing a uh, fashionable clothes. It's part of your and, fashion. Yeah, and that brand brand bags. Yes, or uh. There, for ex do you know Manny Pacquiao? Have you heard about him? Do you know Manny Pacquiao? Wembley, do you know Manny Pacquiao? Have you heard about him? Manny Pacquiao. Manny, Manny Pacquiao. Have you heard about him? Let, let, me, uh, let me type the name. Manny. Man, Manny Pacquiao. Have you heard about him? The yes. boxer. The Filipino world champion boxer. He has collection of cars. Luxury cars. But, but he cannot 
He cannot yes, run sir. that here. He Yo, cannot ah, use the luxury you. car. He just got too, ma- too much money to spend. He brings the luxury car abroad when he has a, a, a boxing competition. <laughs> That's all he does with the car. If it's in Philippines, it's in the garage. You know, like a car collector. Like this. Hmm. One, one is curious. Uh, one ask. Uh-huh. Uh, this language in Philippines. Again, again? What is language in Philippines? What is? One garage. Uh, what in is one language in Philippines? What is one garage? <laughs> What is language in Philippines? Language in the Philippines. Yes. yes. What is language in the Philippines? Filipino. Filipino. Ah, Filip- ah Filipino. Filipino. Oh. Filipino okay. can be the person. Filipino can be the language. Same. Mm-hmm. Filipino can be the language. Both. Uh, Fil- no, Filipino speak Filipino, English. Um, oh no. Ah, uh, both. <laughs> now, ah, uh, very hard to. These days, we speak what we call Taglish. It means Tagalog and English, or Filipino and English together. Together. That's how we speak. <laughs> We do we do not speak not everyone speaks straight Tagalog. There's always English together with Tagalog. So wow. <laughs> yes. So if you come to Philippines, if you come to Philippines, you will be shocked. Teacher. The Filipino? Are they talking in Philip Tagalog or Filipino? Yeah. No, I heard English. Ah, I always oh. explain to my student. I am very yeah. sorry. We yeah. don't. Not everybody speaks fluent Tagalog. There's always English in our language. Oh. Every day. That's every day. Like Even English. In, that's why in the school, in the school, Filipino classes are very strict. Filipino class, we need to speak Tagalog. We need to speak strictly Filipino. If not, you get punished by your teacher. You see, there's punishment if we cannot speak in Tagalog or Filipino. And many kids here speak English more. Speak English way better than Filipino language. Because parents talk to them every day in English. Good morning, baby. Are you hungry? Like this. Early in the morning. Wake up. You're late. Hurry up. You're late. Uh, everything. And then a little bit of Tagalog. Tagalog. <laughs> so I am very sorry, Wembley. Our main language is Filipino. But yep. we speak combination of Filipino and English. Wow. 70%. Uh, I guess it's very difficult. And Spanish. And Spanish also. Filipino language is not pure Filipino. There's big percentage of Spanish language in our language. Okay. So it's like Filipino, Spanish, English, Chinese, mix. Mix, 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 mix. Mm. <laughs> That's our language. Mm-hmm. You, you speak English, Filipino, Chinese. I, I cannot speak Chinese. I cannot really speak Chinese. But many Filipino words came from the Chinese culture. And Majority of our language comes from Spain. So if you're if 
you are learning Filipino, it's also like you're learning Spanish. Same thing. Same thing. Co complicated language. <laughs> complicated language now. But generally, Taglish. Sofiel. Tagalog and Sofiel. English. Sofiel. I hope I hope many kids can speak Tagalog more. But no. Again, because of influencers as well. There are many kids who would watch influencers who speak British. There are many kids who would watch influencers who speak American. So even cartoons, right? They're all in other language. So that's the case. Anyway, so for your writing, I'll just give you the topic for the writing today. Okay, let me send to you the file. So you can just type there. Okay. Oh. oh, wait a minute. I'll send the writing top essay writing topic for today. June 27. Okay. I hope you can see it. I sent in the chat box the essay writing topic. You can open it. Yeah, and if you have questions about the topic, let me close first. Okay. Can you see the file in the chat box? Okay. That will be the writing topic for today. But you only got a few minutes left to do the writing. So you can just, uh, for now, you can just develop your ideas, gather some ideas, and then tomorrow we will do the, the main writing because you only have a few minutes to write. It's not enough. There's no enough time to write. So for the rest of the time that we have now, gather your ideas for your writing tomorrow. So, uh, Wembley, can you read the uh, essay topic? Hello, Wembley. Can you open the topic? I, I open. Ah, okay. Oh, the one in the chat box. Open. Moment. In recent years, there has been a growth. Correct? Correct, correct. Okay. In recent years, there has been a growing concern with the role that influencers play in spreading misinformation, particularly in relation to health and medical questions. Some people are in that contain or the TikTok and all the platforms should be better regulated. Mm -mm. Regulate. While the others think that people are capable of distributing factor information from health, put more tight and give you off more. Wow. Mm. wow. This this uh, topic you know, is not from me. This topic is from your Moodle. I just got this from your Moodle, okay? It's the Moodle topic. I didn't okay. make this question, okay? Do you understand? I I, I process information. I mm -hmm. I develop name, my opinion. Mm -hmm. So please take note that it is asking you to discuss both sides, like last time. You remember, we made argument one, argument two, and then your main opinion. 
Yes. Same goes with this. Same goes with this. Same style. Exactly. But the topic is I, different. Except yeah. one I I agree, one mm -mm. disagree. Mm -mm. Exactly. And then and then give your main opinion. Okay? Mm, yeah. So agree, disagree, and then what is your what side are you taking? Huh? Pro or con? You have to make sure you state your opinion. So here they are asking that, you know, in recent years, the influencers uh, have a role in giving misinformation. So misinformation means wrong information. Sometimes influencers give wrong information, but because they are popular, people believe them. People believe what they are saying is true. Now, some group of people uh. also argue that, you know, some special this time. And oh. they said that it's fine. It's fine because people have the knowledge to control and figure out if what they are saying is true or not. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the influencers are telling the truth or not. But my mom, because, yeah. But my mom believed it. <laughs> That's the problem. Our parents yeah. believe it. I also believe it. She, she cannot Sometimes. I also distinguish the right or wrong. False or wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. Just so one time. the main point that this question is talking about is like that. Uh -huh. Yes, Chloe. Uh -huh. one, one time. One time she told me to like uh, buy a, I don't know how to say the like a machine. No, machine. Mm -hmm. You can soak your feet in it uh -huh. in the winter. Uh -huh. And there is uh, some um, motor in 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 the base so when it start it will uh, -huh. uh do some massage on underneath your soles it's uh -huh. like a bucket uh -huh. you use it in and, winter uh -huh. to warm your feet and your uh, feet. get the circulation of your body mm -hmm. to warm you up mm -hmm. and she posted me with the a link Mm -mm. Which is a fam famous actor in Taiwan who, mm -hmm. <laughs> who sell the product, but, uh -huh. but I saw the website. It it it's like a scam. It's not the actor sell oh. sell that product. It's they use their uh, his face to to sell the product. It's a scam. Yeah, it's a scam. My mom cannot ah. distinguish the scams or the, the real ad advice. I ad see. Ad. Yeah. You see? That's that's one point. Right? That's that's the reason like uh influencers, if you cannot detect if a person like senior citizens cannot detect what's going on in our social media this time, then misinformation will be given to you, no matter how popular the influencer is, right? That's the other side. However, the other group of people think, just don't mind it. Influ that's influencer's job. Anyway, you have your own thinking, you have your own knowledge, you know what is true, what is false, which one is fake, which one is true. That's the argument of the other side. So, it's up to you now. Where is your stand? Should you stop these influencers from being part of, you know, giving misinformation? At least limit, limit, choose carefully the influencers they use. Or it doesn't matter who the influencers are because you're, you're knowledgeable. You can choose. You know if it's fake or not. So you have to discuss that both sides. Somehow, if end, you against it, 
if you're against it, that's where your that's where your main opinion would go. So you state first both sides, and then after that, give your final opinion. Which side are you taking? Side mm -hmm. A or the side B? That's what they are talking about in your in this essay, right? So you have to figure out which one. Discuss first both, and this time stand firm on which side are you taking. So in my case, for example, I am taking side A. Have control on the, your influencers. Make sure the influencers also have the credibility. They don't just accept endorsements without even trying the product. Some influencers are like that because they're paid high, but they don't try the product. Yeah, they sell in right? yeah. bad things to yes. the customers. Anyway, they already have the money, right? Mm. right? They don't care. It's, they won't care, of course, because they're paid already. Right? And then us, we believe, oh, this is good. <laughs> But we cannot really recognize if it's real or not. So take your time. Take your time to do that as part of your writing. We'll have that tomorrow. That's the first thing we would do tomorrow. So for now, you figure out your ideas. <laughs> okay, you give at least two reasons for each side. That would be enough. What is very important is your main opinion. What side are you taking? So tomorrow we will do that right. Okay. So I think we can have any question, by the way. Do you have any questions? No. We, with the writing. Again, our essay writing will have introduction, body, and conclusion. So tomorrow, that's what's going to appear in our... Uh, essay writing we'll use our time tomorrow to do it because <clears throat> i will also edit at the same time your work okay so please take note this will be your topic for tomorrow so think about it if you can find some research about it go ahead or your experience like you chloe your mom go ahead <laughs> your mom is a very good example <laughs> that you can use he said i don't know with Wembley. Maybe Wembley also has experience with that or your, I don't know, your family member. <laughs> Go use them as the example. No problem. No, as long today, as it fits Today, today uh, in TikTok, uh, the word fitness, fitness. Uh -huh. ah, no, no, he, no, he, he, uh, he uh, this one, no, he, this one. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, it's a good question. Tomorrow, uh, I write a good question. Search. Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow, we will do the essay writing. For now, gather details. Okay? So, I think we can end the class a minute early. So, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy and have a very good dinner. Thank you, thank you so thank much. You. And have a good night. Good night, Miss. Bye.